today I'm going to show you what the 18 second trick is in Back for Blood and how to do it. Basically what it does is it lets you cut the amount of hordes you have to deal with in half. I get asked about this every single time I stream because they're like, why are you guys counting out loud? What's that all about? So allow me to explain. So what you do with the 18 second trick is you see these nests right here? Well, there's certain parts in the game where if you shoot out all three of these nodes, a horde gets summoned and you have to deal with that horde. And then you go nest to nest, and then I think there's one more up here to nest, and you have to deal with a horde every single time. What this trick allows you to do is stack those on top of each other. And the way it works is whenever you shoot one of these nodes, all the other nests retract a little bit. So allow me to show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna start the timer. I'm gonna shoot this node right here and then watch the ones in the distance. Watch how they retract. You see how they disappeared? That means I can't shoot them. Now they're gonna be gone for what is about 19 to 20 seconds. So what you do is you count up to 18 and then once 18 hits, then you shoot out the rest of those, and by the time these spawn back in, then you finish them up. So let's see exactly how long it takes for them to come back. Okay, right about there, about 19 seconds if I were to let it go all the way. So, what you do is you try to count to 17 or 18, clear the rest of this one out, and then run over to that one and clear that one out. And then you're stacking the hordes on top of each other. And again, here's the time I got. I got 18.87, and I actually stopped it a little early, so it's probably like 19 seconds. So if you want to, you can bust out a timer, but a lot of this is going to be kind of based on how you perceive time, but I usually personally count to about 18, so I'll show you what it looks like in practice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I shoot, and then these guys will come back right around when I got done shooting those ones, and now I have a stacked horde. And the big benefit by stacking the horde is it seems like there's only so many common that are going to spawn until they reach their limit. I guess that's the theory behind it, but really what it does is just cuts down a lot of time. You may have to deal with more mutations. I really am not sure how the cap works. I'd have to talk to Turtle Talk about that one. But it saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of panic of running back and forth. And as you can see, we only have one more stack to deal with. And... What you'll notice here is this one's actually already up. Because we went through those 18 seconds, this has always been happening in the game. This isn't a new concept. The, whole, the only thing that's new about it is that you're paying attention to it. And the reason why it works is after you shoot this first one, the timer starts. And then let's say I waited six seconds, right? And then I shot another one. That doesn't mess with the timer on the other nodes. It's just going to be 18 seconds no matter what. So that's how you're allowed to stack these things up. Now, I've heard of people being more advanced about it and taking out more than two nests at a time. I'm assuming it's timing things out with like a grenade or something like that, or really just everybody being on the same page in that regard. And you can go ahead and try that out. But what we typically do in our group, Ren and Rourke are actually the ones that showed this one to me. We typically just do the two at a time thing and it speeds everything up, especially on objectives where you have like speed run or defeat the boss and then get to the safe room in time so we can get that extra copper. Okay, now you finally know how the 18 second trick works. I stream this game just about every single night on twitch.tv slash some point. If you wanna go hang out over there, link will be in the description and also the top comment. It's actually Saturday, so it's sassy Saturday. So we're gonna be busting out some of the drinks and having some fun with that. Also, if any of these videos have been helpful to you and you want to see what's going on with the update that's coming out soon, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.